In this second part video, the AD9833 programmable waveform generator project is modified. The waveform frequency is now displayed on a 7 segment screen controlled by a MAX7219 driver. A modified block diagram of the implemented project is shown here. We now have the frequency of the waveform displayed on a 4 digit 7 segment display which is controlled by the MAX7219 driver. The MAX7219 is serially interfaced with the Arduino using three digital pins where the load, clock and data in are connected to pins 6, 7 and 8. We also have three push buttons connected to three digital pins of the Arduino. When we press any of these buttons, the selected waveform will be displayed on the scope and the waveform frequency in kilohertz will be displayed on the four digit seven segment display. Finally, we have this push button which is connected to interrupt pin zero. When pressed, will cause the selected waveform to exit and the main menu title is shown on the seven segment display. A quick look at the C++ sketch. We need to include these uh, two libraries, one for the AD9833 and the other for the MAX7219 IC. This object is for the AD9833 and this object is for the MAX7219. The MAX7219 IC is interface with the Arduino as follows. The DN is connected to pin 7, clock to pin 8, and load to pin 6. And this argument here indicates that we have only one IC of the MAX7219. Within the setup function, we initialize the AD9833 module. We initialize the MAX7219 IC. And we enable a D2 of the Arduino pin to become interrupt0 pin. Inside the loop function, we display these characters on the 7 segment display. And while the program is looping, if the sign switch is pressed, then we call function sine waveform. If the triangle switch is pressed, then we call this function. And if the square wave uh, switch is pressed, then we call the square waveform function. Pressing the sign button will execute this function, where we will get the variable frequency from the potentiometer, and this would be the range of the frequency. Then we would display the frequency on the seven segment display, and then we will send the sine waveform to the analog output of the AD9833 module. This while loop will loop indefinitely until we press the interrupt button and the program jumps to the interrupt service routine shown here, where the value of this Boolean variable will become true. And then when we come back to the function sine waveform, this if statement becomes true, forcing the uh, program to exit the uh, function and return to the main loop function. The same procedures apply to function triangle waveform and function square waveform. To further modify this project, an 8-digit 7-segment screen can be used since the MAX7219 driver can support up to 8 digits. Thank you for watching.